Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel Physics Sergi and here we are in the J Advanced Solution series that I've started long time back but uh, sorry that I couldn't continue because I was busy with uh, some personal work. So uh, since the exams are coming nearer and uh, we wanted to continue this, uh, some requests from the subscribers too. Um, so the alpha and omega of your preparation, as I always keep saying, is solving the JE advanced papers. Uh, I would recommend most of you uh, who are appearing for the JE advanced exam in the coming weeks, uh, please make sure you do end up solving the last 10 years papers. Okay, so in that regards, in the coming weeks, I'll be taking up the most intriguing problems uh, and also the concepts that are involved in those problems and how the JE manages the language and how they uh, trick the students into uh, marking wrong options and so these kind of things we'll try to discuss and also at the end of the video uh, I'll try to give you a similar problem from Mirado. Uh, uh, how similar and how different you would see it because it could be a potential candidate for the coming exams So let's move ahead. This is the 2016 paper 2. There is a comprehension from current electricity So here's the passage in case you have not yet tried it out, okay, so I would recommend you to take a snapshot of these two pages. This is the paragraph and these are the two questions. So pause the video back and forth and try to uh, solve the problem and then come back for the explanation. Okay, so I'm going ahead with the formal wording of the question. Consider an evacuated cylindrical chamber of height H having rigid conducting plates at the ends and an insulating curved surface as shown in the figure. The number of spherical balls made of lightweight and soft material and coated with a conducting material are placed on the bottom plate. So there are a lot of balls here. The balls have a radius R very small compared to H. Now a high voltage HV is connected across the conducting plates such that the bottom plate is at plus V0 and the top plate is at a potential minus V0. Due to their conducting surface, the ball gets charged, will become equipotential with the plate and are repelled by it. Balls will eventually collide with the top plate where the coefficient of restitution can be taken to be zero due to the soft nature of the material of the balls. The electric field in the chamber is considered to be that of a parallel plate capacitor. Assuming that there are no collisions between the balls and the interaction between them is negligible, ignoring gravity, you are supposed to answer two questions. Okay, right. So he has made a lot of things very simple. So in an exam, when you are reading such a lengthy paragraph, you need to keep your spirits high and you should understand the JE examiner never goes beyond a certain limit of complications in the question. He tries to make sure uh, that uh, the questions are simple and they test the basic understanding of the topic. Okay, so once you keep up that positive mood and reading the paragraph and you go into both the questions of the paragraph, read all the options and then make your judgment whether to attempt the question or not. Okay, so don't uh, read through the paragraph in the middle and then say this is not going to uh, happen with me and these kind of uh, things are not welcome in a JE advanced examination especially. Okay, so which of the following statements is correct? Ball bounce back to the uh, bottom plate carrying the opposite charge they went up with. Balls with will execute simple harmonic motion between the two plates. Balls will bounce back to the bottom plate carrying the same charge they went up with. And the balls will stick to the top plate and remain there. Okay. And the second question, the average current in the steady state registered by ammeter in the circuit will be proportionality he's asking with the value of V naught that he mentioned in the paragraph. Okay. Right. So I'll go ahead with the solution for the first question. So you should realize that uh, he talked about parallel plate capacitor, which means he's asking you to assume the field is uniform throughout. Okay, so the field that you will have here inside the gap would be uniform. Since the bottom plate is positively charged and top is negatively charged, field will be upward. Okay, and also he asked us to ignore gravity. So balls move in uniform field and therefore the acceleration of balls should be QE by M where small Q is a charge on each ball. And since acceleration is constant in the gap, then we can't consider it as SHM. Remember, SHM motion is supposed to be a case of acceleration proportional to displacement from the mean position. Nothing of that sort is happening in this question. So this was just a scary option that you should have eliminated. But the motion is going to be periodic back and forth. Okay, right. And not only that, the positive charged balls that you'll have here because they acquire the charge and they repel off, they hit the top plate. And when they reach the top plate, which is negatively charged, the conduction happens between them and they get 
stuck and they become oppositely charged. So when they again get repelled from the top, like what happened at the bottom, they start coming down with exactly opposite charge as they went up with. And this motion keeps repeating itself over a period of time. Okay, so the balls will bounce back to the bottom plate carrying opposite charge that they went up with would be the appropriate option to mark in the exam. Okay, right. And let's move to the next question. The average current in the study state that he's talking about, the average word is very important here. He's not talking about uh, an instantaneous value, which would be a fluctuating one because of the balls being in the air in the middle. And you should assume that in this situation, that uh, motion of the balls is happening very fast, like uh, the molecules which go back and forth in ideal gas creating pressure. You can assume that this kind of current is equivalent to the pressure in that particular topic. Okay, so the logic here is to understand first of all the proportionality you need not do complete calculations you can avoid all the bulky things by only picking up the things that are required okay so for example the bottom plate when it's having a potential v naught i've replaced all the balls the tiny tiny ones of radius into a big one single ball of capital q okay because they are not anyway interacting so all of them are going together and coming back so i can replace it with one single ball for my assumption so the potential of the ball once it gets charged to that same value of v naught which is maintained please understand this should be kq divided by r where r is the radius of that combined ball so uh, the k and r are going to be constant so the charge that would be developed would be proportional to v naught okay next important thing the height that it acquires right as it moves starting from rest i can use uniform acceleration motion kinematics half a t square where field i already told you is q e by m i replaced it with q e by m and multiplied by t square but the value of capital e for a capacitor plate is nothing but potential difference divided by the distance of between the plates that i have written here and i substitute it nicely into this then you realize q will get replaced with a proportionality of v naught capital e also will get replaced with a proportionality v naught so you'll get a v naught square here and by h goes on to the other side and makes this a h square so it's a simple thing that h square is proportional to v naught square t square again h is a constant so i don't care about it so the value of time duration with which the balls back bounce back and forth is proportional to 1 by v naught I think the problem is done. So every T seconds when the ball gets stuck to the other plate, remember from being a plus Q charge, it should actually acquire a minus Q charge and vice versa, which means the amount of charge that flows into the ball, obviously via the wire that you have here should be equal to 2Q, okay? And that's this value of the charge that flows to the uh, uh, this particular thing should be equivalent to the average current that is flowing during the time duration t okay so the value of the average current should be 2q divided by t and that should be proportional to you would see q is proportional to v naught t is proportional to 1 by v naught so the value of the average current should be v naught square okay so that should be the best possible answer that you end up having okay right so this kind of uh, question uh, that deals with accelerated charges right so you're talking about accelerated charges is slightly different from the uh, type of ohm's law that we are used to remember in ohm's law the charges move with a constant drift velocity so but there is a very nice question in Rido which i would like you to try it out for our next video right so i have already two or three Irido select solutions pending because I have been giving them. So that would be covered up in the next videos, all most of them together. So this is a question that I would recommend you to do, which is a very good candidate for the JE advanced uh, questions, right? So you carefully observe 3.210, right? This has a very good charm about it where a current is being discussed in a situation of accelerated charges and not moving with constant velocity. and the added information that you could see this could become a very good comprehension is that he's talking about the electric field strength on the surface of the beam that is moving and also the potential difference between the axis and the surface of this beam of protons that are moving okay so this is a very good question i like it a lot and i would love uh, uh, if you in case try this out for our next video i'll come up with the solution okay so uh, 
other series that are important so please do make sure you go through the playlist that i have put up in the description below and most of the questions in these you would say are relevant to je advance and i am trying to put up videos even in these series in the coming few days uh, which are only relevant to je advance so that the level of the questions can be kept at that particular point okay so um, in case you like the video please do like it liking a video definitely ensures that youtube algorithm recommends the video to a lot of people thereby promoting my channel okay so it would be really nice if you do that and in case you are new to this channel please do subscribe to my channel i would recommend you go through at least four to five videos in the list that i have playlists are also there right so try to enjoy four or five videos you will definitely understand why i deserve a subscription okay so thank you see you in the next video